Just want to give you a fast update. It won't take very long. This is not a normal video. I just wanted to explain to the people who are asking, particularly where did the Sunday news go? Did you change your mind? It's not it at all. Um, I got food poisoning, I believe Friday. Uh, Saturday it hit me hard and uh, I won't go into all the gross details, but I ended up sleeping until this morning, almost nonstop, getting up long enough to drink some tea and honey. Um, yeah, I felt like I was on death's door. To my pleasant surprise, the Venezuelan girls that I've recently been helping pretty much all kept contacting me. Are you okay? Where are you? Then I told them I was sick, wishing they would stop contacting me because I'm trying to sleep. But uh, they wanted to take me to the doctor. and uh, so I just wanted everybody to just go away. Uh, Sandy, not one of the Venezuelan girls, she insisted on coming over. She brought me some Tylenol, uh, made me some tea, and um, that was greatly appreciated. The Tylenol helped because I had a lot of fever going on. So that's where I've been. That's what's been going on. How did I get food poisoning? Was it something I was cooking? Uh, no. And I'm pretty sure where I got food poisoning, I'm almost 100%. Um, there wasn't that much that I ate during that window. And the only thing that I ate that someone else didn't eat, that I didn't share with someone else, was lettuce. And it was a plastic bag of lettuce. I know you've all seen it. For convenience, every once in a while you grab it. Well, they're known to have salmonella issues, and I know that, and I almost never do that, but on that particular day, I just I just grabbed it. Uh, I'm doing so many other things, I just grabbed that. Like, it's so hard to take lettuce and break it into pieces, right? Well, I did that, and um, a day after I ate that, or that night, is when I got sick. Everything else that I ate, someone else also ate. So, uh, and, and no one else got sick. So I'm pretty sure that's what it was. And it's not the first time I've had food poisoning. As a matter of fact, it seems to be getting to be a um, twice a year ordeal that you go through. And uh, in my entire life in the US, I think I have had it uh, maybe twice. Once, I, I, once for sure I remember was horrible. I thought it was on death's door. And that's how this one felt. This was particularly a bad one. So that's where I've been. Um, I woke up this morning at 5 a.m. feeling a million times better. I hadn't changed my clothes or showered in three days and maybe that's what woke me up. So I'm showered, I'm changed, my house is a disaster, uh, so I'm gonna clean up, try to get some energy back today and go at it again tomorrow. So hopefully I'll, I'll get back on track on the videos as well. So, so everybody was checking up on me, I thank you. Um, to make this a Cuenca video, I'll just remind you that when you're here, you need to have people that you know that do look out for you. Um, the reason I turned it down is I knew I had food poisoning and there really isn't much you can do except get some rest and, and if it gotten even worse then I've got a doctor who would have come to my house. So I appreciated what they were doing but I've got that kind of uh, sort of thing planned out. But if I've got the flu or if I get food poisoning, the doctor is not going to do anything for you, honestly. Will they? Do they ever? It has to run its course. And that's what happened for me. So, good to be back. See you soon. You know you could.